So with now that I've put on about 20 or so videos, I wanted to tell you guys that are watching these a little bit about myself. Maybe you get an idea where I'm coming from and why I waste my time. <laughs> um, because I know I don't have a real big following with, uh, with YouTube. And like I've said before, I really don't care. Um, but nonetheless, I enjoy it. It's good practice. Eventually the videos will be clearer. I'll speak a little clearer eventually. Somebody said one of one of my critics said one of the the uh, responses I got uh, one of the first videos I did to have another beer so you can so I can understand you well you know hey stick into the diet Pepsi today maybe I'll have a beer later nonetheless I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. My name is John Shannon. I uh, was born February of 1963. That makes me 44 years old for now. Uh, the video doesn't lie. I'm a big guy. I stand just under six foot, weigh about 280 pounds. Um, even though I've had a surgery on my right knee and from time to time it's a little sore, I still get around relatively well for being as out of shape as I am. Um, I don't have any problem walking or doing stairs or doing my job, which sometimes entails having to get out and lift and help people with groceries or packages or luggage so I uh, they don't have any problems with that yet you know hopefully uh, <laughs> hopefully it stays that way um, I was orphaned when I was 11 years old I lost my mother when I was excuse me lost my father in 1972, when I was nine years old, lost my mother in Christmas Eve of 1974. I was 11 at the time. Um, bounced in and out of a couple of foster homes. Finally had a uh, an uncle take me in um, when I was 15 years old. I stayed with him for a couple of years and then pretty much went back out on my own. Um, I dropped out of high school halfway through 11th grade to work full-time. I started driving a cab when I was 18 years old, May of 1981, and other than a couple of short vacations Get out of here, Jack. That's my dog back there. Um, other than a co couple of short vacations, um, I've been driving cab ever since. When I first started driving cab when I was 18 years old, I uh, I only weighed about 205, 210, something like that. Had a... Uh, a full head of hair, as you can see, that's gone bye-bye. Actually, I think the uh, hair was, or the lack thereof, was probably the only thing I uh, inherited from my father. <laughs> um, haven't had a lot of luck with relationships. I've been married and divorced and remarried a couple of times. I'm currently uh, married... Um, to a woman that I was, oh, we were seeing each other for a couple of years before, before we broke down and got married. Um, I have two daughters from, a from one of my previous marriages. They're both grown now. 
One is oh, one is twenty twenty one now. The other one's nineteen. And they, one of them lives with their mother, one of them lives with their uh, stepfather. Um, I don't spend a whole lot of time, unfortunately. Not as much time as I'd like with them. Damn, dogs. Excuse me a second. Quiet. Well, that's what happens when you cut a video, I guess. <laughs> I, uh, like I said, I've been driving cab for quite a while. It'll be 27 years in May. Um, I've seen a lot of stuff. Had met a lot of decent people, met some not so nice people, learned a lot from the people I've picked up in my cab. I've listened as I've, you know, you know, multi-million dollar business deals in the back of the cab. I've listened to $20 crack whore deals go down in the back of the cab. So, I mean, it's been quite the quite the array of, of situations that I've, uh, that I've had to deal with in this business. It's really about all I know. Couldn't fix a car if I, if I tried. Hell, I barely trained a tire anymore. But I've been always, you know, never paid to, never paid to fix them, just drive them. I've owned cabs a couple of different times, managed a couple of cab companies, worked as a supervisor. Been a dispatcher, but one way or another, I've been pretty much been doing this my whole life, <laughs> and um, I, I, you know, one of the things that I think I, maybe a light bulb went off. This was oh, an easy fifteen years ago. Maybe not quite. Maybe well, that's irrelevant. I always, I had a lot more sympathy for people that uh, had less than I did, I guess, if you will, or or had, um, how do I want to say it, who were, who were struggling to get by, you know, people that were on welfare and whatnot. Um, to be honest with you, growing up, that's all I knew were people that, that were waiting for the, uh, you know, for one entitlement check or another. As I as I got to driving a cab and and um, seeing how people abused that particular privilege, seeing people going out and buying booze and cigarettes and drugs and other stuff they had no business buying with money that they should have been using to clothe their kids and keep a roof over their heads. I became a lot more cynical when it came to the social uh, the social programs that were out there, you know, how people were abusing them. And I think that's probably where I, where I just finally got to the point where um, I, I agree with with my conservative friends that say you know nobody owes you a living nobody owes you anything you know and so I try not to if I can't go out and get it on my own as the old saying uh, is then I guess I don't need it um, well looks like I'm run, about ready to run long on this uh, on this clip I just wanted to give you a, a little bit of an insight to my boring life uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you continue to watch the Redneck Rant. Until the next time, adios.